Jenny and today's video I'm going to do a twinsie pour with Karen a collaboration with Karen over at Waterfall Acrylics and so Karen is just awesome and uh, she always starts her videos with her face which I think is incredibly brave and awesome and she cracks me up so I thought since this is twinsy, I'll just start with my face too, you know, why not? I'm, I've only done that on one other video and um, I just figured, well, you know, that's full on twinsy that way. So, but anyway, what we're going to do today is uh, pours on 12 by 24 canvases right there, um, inspired by colors that Anne-Marie Ryderhoff chooses often, or at least she did when I was watching her every day. Um, so the colors are, um, and we're both going to use these. We're going to do a, um, what's it called, a open, open cup pour, which I have never done. I, I saw Karen has done a few, and uh, so I'm I've just, just, I really have wanted to try one. I've also been wanting to do a collaboration with Karen. And so we're just doing both of those at the same time. Um, but anyway, the colors are um, going to be listed in the video description. Um, and I'll show them here in a second. So anyway, here we go. Now that you've seen my face, <laughs> I feel like a goofball. Let's get to painting. So we're doing a 12 by 24 canvas on an, uh, with an open cup. The colors are inspired by color choices Anne-Marie Ryderhoff often makes, which are cadmium yellow deep, cadmium, cadmium free orange is what this is, uh, Van Dyke brown. All I had was Van Dyke red, so this is a Naples yellow which honestly I don't like this color it reminds me of Dijon mustard and then we've got aqua green which I love and a greenish greenish yellow or yellowish green so all of these colors are Liquitex heavy body paint except this one this one is just reg regular Liquitex I went to that big, uh, there was a big sale at uh, one of the craft stores. If you see my last video, I was testing them out. They were on like 75% off and I just couldn't help myself. So, Liquitex Heavy Body, regular Liquitex. And then this uh, white, titanium white, or as Karen calls it, tea white. Um, this is Grumbacher Titanium White. So, and I've mixed a ton of it. And then, one other color. This is, uh, this is Iridescent Green Blue, a magical color made by PBO, PBO Studio Acrylics that I include in every painting I do. Um, I sent a tube to Karen. I told her I feel like a, a pusher. <laughs> like, I'm, like a drug pusher, except I'm pushing this paint. So, uh, it's a little bit deeper than the aqua, and it just seems to me a crime to make a, a painting this big without any metallics, so, so hopefully this will, there'll be a good dose of this, uh, in there. The only transparent color I have is the Van Dyke Red. So that's weird. All these others, actually Van Dyke Red and then this green. This green also has a, it's semi. Oh, it's always fun to try new things, but it's also nerve wracking. Like, what if it doesn't float out? Hmm. 
What if these colors turn to mud? But you know what? You just can't second guess yourself. You can't. That is no fun. None at all. Just if it's, you know, what's the worst that can happen? If it's a bad pour? Oh, oh no, it's a bad pour. Big deal. How many people, if you got started watching Anne Marie Ryderhoff, say I in the comments. I started pouring, um, I guess it was spring of 2016 or 20, anyway. And uh, Anne Marie is the first person I saw. I saw her videos and was instantly, as it happens, you know in love with the idea of pouring and uh, pouring every single night and accumulating paintings and so I credit Anne-Marie a lot for how because pouring has completely changed my life um, in so many ways so so many ways so many ways you would never expect it uh, you know the sense of community I feel with other people which is huge uh, who would think, you know, this solitary painting in my garage and I would feel such a sense of community, but I do. Um, not just with people online, but with people out in my neighborhood who stopped by and, you know, my workmates and when I was working. Uh, anyway, it's a point of connection. Just the daily creativity. I mean, anybody who's experienced that going from basically no creativity to every day creativity knows what a drastic change that is in your life um, but anyway I have a, 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 a I owe Anne Marie a lot and uh, I cheese out on her every few months tell her how thankful I am okay so I'm gonna pour I'm just gonna there's too much paint on here so I'm gonna going to tilt this dude quite a bit unfortunately had to because otherwise just won't work okay I want that wouldn't that be cool just leave that big giant white bottom I'm not gonna do I don't like that actually there we go Okay, that's enough. They're getting a little wonky, so. So this painting's got a uh, white bottom. <laughs> I don't want the cells to get all distorted. Let's see, see what I can do, can I? Seems like they were about to. I think maybe I can do it. And then I'll just.
you go. All right. Bring it back. So it's like a, it's like one of those dressers, the dresses, the over the shoulder, you know, the where you got one shoulder exposed. That's what that this painting looks like to me. Okay, I'm back. I, I can't stand this. I really actually don't like the off the shoulder look here on this painting. And so I'm going to bring some white down from there over here. Uh, just a ribbon of white to kind of offset it somehow, I hope. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, case or off or off. I'm back. So I had a whole lot of paint left over from the uh, collaboration pour I just did uh, with Karen. So I'm going to do a uh, 12 by 16 to use it up. To use up this paint. So I ran out of white for the most part. So I'm going to I have a little bit but not enough to cover a another 12 by 24 so I am going to use this Dijon mustard or Naples yellow because I had a lot of it um, to cover to cover this dude as a background so I thought that would be different I'll use up this color well, I hope I have enough Um, let's see. And, uh, just do it another one, because those are pretty fun. And, uh, I've been wanting to try them, but, and I've been thinking, you know, oh, well, those are pretty cool, but everybody, you know, maybe... What would it look like with a different color of something other than white? You know, that white really didn't stay on there or do much of anything, actually. Um, it just kind of... I probably used too much paint, like, in the floaty cup. I don't know, but as it was, as that last one was, it, the white really didn't... serve a purpose so much like, I don't know what purpose it did serve so so maybe it'll be easier to tell with this yellow or maybe I'll uh, calibrate it a little better and uh, use less paint so that the background plays a more substantial role Oops, pour some around there. So it has some to go under. Blue. I hope this turns out a little prettier. That one wasn't too bad, but the cell structure was a little bit wonky. It, it just looked a little weird, I don't know, to me.
wasn't terrible by any means, but. All right, are you coming out? It's coming out. There we go, you're even floating in the right direction. It's fun. Alright, I'm going to do... That's... I'm going to do one more hit of the iridescent and I think I'm done. I'm going to see if, see if I can be done. Less is more. Melody. I just don't think it keeps coming out. That'd be cool, just just that. All right, come on out of the air. Come on now. Look at that. That looks like a hot air balloon. Okay. That's really pretty. Uh, let's see what happens when I torch it and tilt it. Ooh. Karen, I hope you're not mad. <laughs> I know we didn't agree on this. I just oh, that one. I just wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't doing it for me. Uh, I have all this paint, so I'm getting ready to go out of town, and I need to use it. I've only got. A little bit of time, one more night left in town. So I thought, hey, let's just do this thing. I know Karen won't mind. Ah, I kind of just want to leave it just like that. That's just really weird. Just to, wouldn't that be cool? All right, let's see. Definitely a lot of iridescent, which makes me happy. It's always fun to experiment. So I hope uh, somebody likes yellow a lot. I think somebody will love this. I love it. I just uh, I don't necessarily have a room into which I would put it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So, all right. I'm happy. <sighs> Thank God. Okay. Yay! It's pretty. The colors are just better than this one in the cells. Uh, I'm not going to torch it anymore. I'm just going to leave it just like that. I'm going to leave it alone. So, one last time. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And uh, be sure to check out Karen's paintings. Or painting, paintings. I don't know if she'll do two. And uh, thank you, Karen.
<laughs> so I've already said bye like three times. So I don't know how what I'm going to cut out. I don't want to forget something. But thank you, Karen. This has been a lot of fun. And I hope you had fun. And you guys watching, I hope y'all enjoyed it too. So see you next time.